hey guys how are you all doing so I'm actually coming from a morning walk and I'm almost at my gate and I saw something that I have to share with you like Kalalo I am not sure but I think I recently ordered some amaranth online but because these are actually outside of the fence I'm gonna try and get some to grow in my garden all right so let's get one. Oh gosh guys I am so sorry but I'm pulling out every single one of them they don't have any owner once they're outside of the fence they don't belong to anyone so I'm getting all of them all right so here they are all right guys so I am home and I'm going to put my amaranth in some water because I am about to do a little garden harvest. When I am done with my harvest, I think I will plant these in the area that I want them. All right, there they go. Okay guys, I am all set and I am ready for my harvest. Let me take you along with me to show you what I will be harvesting today. All right, I'm on my way. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart, we're down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. I know the devil doesn't like it, but it's down in my heart. It's down in my heart to stay. I am here, people. I am standing in front of my pigeon pea plant. Look at these dry pigeon peas. All right, let me see if I can put this to stand up so I can harvest my beets, peas rather. All right, guys, so here we go. Time to harvest. All right, harvest time. I am only getting the dry ones right now, guys. See these? Can you all see them? I'm not even sure if you can see them. Here are the dry beans that I'm getting. How are we looking so far? All right, so I'm heading over to another plant or another tree. Okay. I actually have more on the plant guys but I only want the dry ones so let me check on the last plant hmm you mean to tell me that there's hardly any peas on this one gosh 
I probably waited too long. All right, so I am just going to harvest some carrots along with these peas right now and maybe some kale. Yeah. Oh, Lord have mercy. I transplanted these kales last night, you know, and I didn't put any covering over them. Lord. I didn't remember. Oh, I hope it doesn't die. Oh, gosh. That one is not bad because it's in a little shade. But anyways, it's time to harvest some carrots. Let me see. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Where are they? <laughs> oh, Lord. Did somebody get them before I did? Let me see. Ooh. Look at this one. And these are Denver's half long carrots. I am not sure if this is supposed to be the actual size, but I love this. I'm putting it in the basket. I love that. All right, I'm diving back in for some more. Woo! -hoo -hoo! Look at this one. Jesus! Victory is mine. Victory is mine. I'm leaving those. Victory today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind. Because victory today is mine. Joy is mine. Joy is mine. Joy today is mine. All right, so I can actually leave some of these to grow a little bit longer. Let me see this one. Oh, this one is not so bad. So I have four. Yes, I told Satan, get thee behind. Joy today is mine. Yes, I told you guys, I told you, yes, I told you, carrots from my garden, all right, I'm checking on this one now, all right, so let's dive in to see what's in here, okay, I tell you, you know, guys, I don't thin out anything, you know. So whatever size carrots I get, guess what? It's going down in my belly bottom. <laughs> yes, and did you all know that the leaves are edible? So I can either use it as a garnish or I can put it in my smoothies or I can steam it as a vegetable. Well that is what I think but you don't have to do it like I do oh I think they are not done growing guys look so I'm gonna leave them in there a little bit longer I have been growing them from September last year September 2023 um, I did not fertilize them at all so maybe they need some fertilizer so I think I'll be making some fertilizer today here's another one you know what I'm going to taste this one right away guys I'm not even going to wash it let me taste this one y'all want to see when I'm tasting it hmm let me fix the camera first hold on can y'all see me guys here's my carrot so this is going to be a carrot test. Lord bless it and sanctify it. And I give you thanks for the production. In Jesus name, Amen. Mm 
I think this is going to be my new candy. Okay. And it is really, really sweet. I'm not going to lie. Mm-hmm. Really sweet. So I'm eating skin and all. But here, you can only do this when you grow your own food. You don't have to wash it because you know exactly where it's coming from. There is no pee or poop in there. <laughs> or chemicals. It is 100% organic. Yeah. So, let me show you all what I got. This is it. This is my carrots. Mm -hmm. These are my, my peas. Alright, so, I'm going to grab some kale. And I'm not sure what else I can get in here today. Mm. But let me just enjoy the fruit of my labor right now, guys. I'm enjoying every single bit of it. Uh. So it's all gone. So now I'm going to use these when I'm preparing my soup later on today. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. We're down in my heart, down in my heart. I know the devil doesn't like it, but it's down in my heart. And guys, guess what I just saw? Let me show you. Mm. <clears throat> some beautiful Swiss chard, and I'm gonna grab some. Oh, Lord. Mmm. Lord have mercy. Sweet chard. All right. I want to see the sweet chard. Here it is. And, and I am going to do a taste test with the sweet chard as well. Let me see if I can find tiny leaf there is no insect on it guys look it is clean stem and all it's very clean okay hmm it have a little salty taste to it did you all know that mm hmm hmm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Before I eat the carrot, you know, if I had seen the Swiss chard leaves, I would make a wrap. I would wrap the carrot with the Swiss chard leaf and eat it. Yeah, but um guys, can you hear the crunch? It's so crunchy. <laughs> fruit of my labor. Can you all believe it? But gosh, so much roughage. <laughs> Alright guys, so let me go and harvest the um mm, I kinda chew the stem. Throw it in there but the leaves mm -mm. Okay, so as I was saying, I'm going to harvest some kale, some green onions, and oh, I can see some lettuce leaf over there. Maybe I won't be able to um to eat the lettuce leaves, but I can I can put it in my green juice. 
All right, so let me go and harvest those right now. All right, so, oh Lord, I hope the kale doesn't have any insects on it. Oh Jesus, look at this. Yuck. And there's some leaf man on it too. So I'm going to get a container before I harvest these because I need to wash them before I take them inside. All right, I'm grabbing these two right here. So where did I leave my basket? Oh, oh Lord. Anyways, guys, I should know this because um, whenever we plant a garden, we have to plant some of the things for the insects too. Oh yeah. I think I will be getting some basil as well because I like the smell of basil in my food. All right. Some basil. Getting some green onions. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna grab a few of those bok choy leaves because these bok choy leaves look like they're not going to get any bigger, you know. Not going to get any bigger at all. Should I leave them? Yeah. And no, I'm not leaving them. <laughs> That's what I should say. These are actually considered as um, baby greens. Is that right? I don't know. I don't know. All right. This is it. What else did I say I was going to get, guys? I am so sorry that my Malabar spinach is not ready yet. Look, but it's getting there. Or else I would have taken off a few of the leaves. Oh, I said I was going to get the, the lettuce leaves to put in the green juice. I know they might be a little bit bitter right now. But sometimes a little bitter taste is good for us, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me grab, grab these. Taking the bottom leaves because they are bigger. Oh Lord, look what I did. I uprooted this bok chow. And guys, the lettuce, they're um, cut and come back, you know. But I don't think this one is coming back. <laughs> it has fought its fight, kept the faith. Henceforth, laid up for me is some seeds up in the top. Am I right or am I right, I say? <laughs> All right, so beautiful bouquet of lettuce. All right, I was having a little technical difficulty there. Because this new tripod here, hey, every time I want to do something with it, I have to be screwing down all of these little nozzles and things. Okay. Time. All right. Here I go. I don't think there's anything else to be harvested. All right. So, um, Heading in now. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that little video of me harvesting, oh gosh, the fruit of my labor. I have to give the Lord thanks. You know, he woke me up this morning, placed me in my right mind, and I am really, really thankful. And while I'm on the note of thankfulness, I want to 
thank all of my returning subscribers and all of my new subscribers and for the ones that is just watching and commenting I want you all to know that I appreciate you so if this is your first time joining me this is the Glaze Garden Girl over here in Zone 10 in Florida love seeing that mm. is that carrot or is that Swiss chard I don't know but anyways to God be the glory great things he hath done see you soon in another video